Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty and today's project is this one. Um, I purchased this lovely new um, set, or bundle actually. Um, as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to do something interactive with it when I saw this sentiment here which says, look who's turning. Um, so this is the number of years stamp set and these are the new large number frame dies and they're pretty fantastic actually they are very 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 attractive i've actually gone ahead and cut out the um, number that i'm going to be using on my interactive card today so i've gone and cut out the number two twice so um, somebody i know is going to be turning 22 so my interactive card today is going to feature that. So those are the new large number framelets and like I said as soon as I saw this set I knew I wanted to do something interactive so I came up with this card um, which I posted up on my blog a couple of days ago and it's actually proved to be quite a popular one. Um, it took me a little while to sit down and figure out how I was going to get this to rotate. I, I was looking all over the place on Pinterest and I finally gave up because I just couldn't find what I wanted. Anyway, this is my interactive card and that's that's my rotating 21. So look who's turning 21, it's a play on words. Um, I just thought it was quite a bit of fun. I've used various stamp sets here. Um, obviously I've used the sentiment from, from that um, number of years stamp set, but I've also used my Hopeful Thoughts, which are these beautiful vines here. So it's one I feature a lot on my projects. Um, and also my Papillon Potpourri, which you can see is extremely well used and rather grubby looking now. Um, I've had this one, it's probably the first set I ever bought. So that's that. So I've, that's what I've used for the butterflies. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is get on and show you how to make this card and how to make this rotating um, centerpiece. So thank you for joining me today and I do hope you enjoy the project. Okay so you're going to need four layers of card. Um, I've already gone ahead and layered up the first part, part but the base card measures ten and a quarter by seven and one eighth and it's been scored at five and one eighth and then I've Put this layer on top in whisper white so i'm working on pool party as my base that's the color and this is whisper white cardstock now this second piece measures six and five eighths by four and five eighths and then the third layer which is this one again in pool party is six and a half by four and three eighths and i'm just going to grab my tombow for speed And I'll get that mounted and let that leave that to dry. Okay, so that's the bot. That's what we're going to come back to later. Okay, so. This piece, which measures six and one eighth by four and one eighth, is the bit that we're going to be doing all of the work on. Um, so what I'm going to do first off is grab my Misty and I'm taking my pool party ink to match the cardstock, so it's like a monotone card. So that's the sentiment that I'm going to be using from the set which says look who's turning and it's a polymer stamp so with my Misty I need to use this um, foam base. Okay and my magnets have just fused together, gosh they're strong. Okay so what I'm going to do is just get the sentiment st stamped on. And I want it round about there, like that. 
So make sure it's central, I think that's fine. And I'm just going to bring this over and pick it up. And pop it back. Yeah, that's fine. So just going to ink that up now. Don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, hopefully you can. So that's coming over. There we go. I'm actually going to put a little bit more ink on that. That's the beauty of the Misty. You can stamp again on top and it gives you perfect placement. Okay, so I'll pop that to one side. Um, and I'll take my card out. Right then, on to the next bit. Now, what, what you need to do is you need to have a few dies, circular dies. Now, I am using a mixture of dies here. I'll just pop that to one side for one moment. This is one of my Spellbinder um, dies. And it comes from this set here. So it's the third largest, it's the thir third one in. So I'm using that one. And then these are X cut dies. And I'm using the third one in and the smallest one. Sorry if you didn't see that. I'm using the third one in and the smallest. Okay, so I've got a real mixture going on here. But these are the ones that sort of gave me the, the size that I needed to um, accommodate the numbers, really, because they are quite large. They're very attractive. But um, I wanted a circle large enough to be able to, to show those off. So what you need to do is um, work out... Where your circle, your largest circle, is going to feature on the card, so it's going to be somewhere around there. So, what you want then is to take the smallest die and fit that central like that, and then you want to die cut that. Okay, so I'm going to take this now and I'm going to run it through my big shot. Okay, so I've taken that and I've run it through my big shot. Um, so we can discard that, we don't need that any longer. So that is now set ready for the little mechanism that's going to um, create the rotating number. Okay, so you want to keep hold of this one, this small die, and what you actually need is some of this um, foam sheet. Um, I haven't got white, I've only got black, but actually it really doesn't matter um, what colour it's going to be because it's going to be very well hidden. So if you've got bright green, use it. It doesn't really matter. It's really not going to be seen. So what I did was I went ahead and I ran it through my die cutter. So I now have like a little coin. And what you then need is a little piece of a square to mount it on. So I cut myself, this is one and a quarter inch square. And what I'm now going to do is take this and I'm going to use a glue gun and make sure that it's, it's stuck very, very firmly and right up close to, to that edge all of the way round. So that's what you need to do. Grab yourself a glue gun. I found it's the most successful way. Um, tried using Tombow with this and it doesn't work very well at all. So you do need something like a glue gun for it. So I'm just going to take this away now and get that stuck. Okay, so I've now got that fully stuck um, and I've managed to get the glue. Oh, I've got glue on my thumb there. Um, I managed to get the glue as close to the edge all of the way around and that is actually quite important as well. So if you can get that glue right up to the edge, um, it's going to help your card spin or turn far, far, well much better really. 
Okay, so then I'll pop that to one side and I'm just going to put some um, stamped images onto, onto this now. Okay, so um, I've got my vine leaf and I'm just going to load it up with some ink. And I'm just going to just get oh, a few marks on here, a few little dots. That's, that's better. I'm just going to stamp it there. I love this, such a pretty stamp. And let me think, what am I going to do with this one? I'm going to have this one coming down here like that. Okay, so that's that. So now I've got that stamped, ready to put this on. So all you need to do is poke this through the hole like that. Okay. And then you're simply going to layer these two together. So I'm just going to grab my Tombow for that. Just let that go off and then over here I have my numbers and I'm just going to set them on there like that so I'm just going to use my glue dots for that one and here is number two Really, it's just a question of sticking it on here and for that I'm going to use um, some double-sided tape so a really good sticky one and this is sticks to anything and it does it's pretty good this um, double-sided tape I'm gonna get plenty on there I think I'll get a strip in the middle as well, just to be doubly sure. And then it's just a question of, it's just a question of popping this on in, in the right place like that and there you see it turns really nicely um, so I'm just going to punch out a few of these butterflies now just to pretty this up and then I'm going to get this layer onto my card so I've got here like I say Papillon Potpourri was the stamp set um, and I picked out this butterfly and this one um, so I've stamped out a few on here so I'm just going to um, punch out one of the big ones um, and this is called the Elegant Butterfly Punch I just think it's beautiful um, I love this coordinating punch and um, stamp set really is one of my favourites and then for the little butterfly we have the Bitty Butterfly Punch just punch out two of those Bit 
almost took flight that one and I think what I'll do is I'll actually um, I'll get this mounted before I stick the butterflies on it makes much more sense so for this I'm just going to use my snail so wish me luck <laughs> So just going to get that now nice and central on that panel like that and as you can see it's spinning beautifully and just going to take some glue dots now and get my butterflies on so I'm going to pop him there I'm going to have one on the number 22 Let's bend his wings give him a little bit of a uh, shape and then I'm just simply going to take the final one and I'm going to pop him there and then it's just a question of adding a little bit of bling the obligatory bit of bling so um, oops I'm going to take a couple of big ones And then I've got a few little ones here. <laughs> oh, getting hold of these is a job and a half right um and that is my card finished um i like it it's not too complicated as you can see but it's really really effective um so the play on words look who's turning i just think it's quite clever um i think it's a really pretty card as well and i do hope that you've enjoyed that tutorial and it hasn't scared you because it's quite nice and easy um but very very effective so thanks for joining me today um and i'll be back with another project for you very shortly. Goodbye.